And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our final part of Tarek Draven practice. You know, we're getting ready for that seasonal tournament. We played uh, 15 games so far. We're going to play another five here. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to be doing Portal Give It All. And Wednesday, or sorry, and then Saturday, <laughs> the third day is going to be Saturday. Uh, we will be playing some mid-range Frostbite. Getting ready for that seasonal tournament that starts on uh, Sunday. All right, so let's let's get back to it. Our deck's been doing really good so far. I've been happy with our list. Nothing nothing about the list that I've wanted to change so far. So let's just kind of get back to it. Let's play some more play some more games here. All right, we got Puppy joining us, and you can see you can see Harvey. See, there's Harvey. She's right. She's right here. Here she is. Lee Sin Zed. All right, I haven't played against Lee Sin Zed in a little while. Legion Grenadier isn't bad, but I, you know, I want to find our champions to, it's kind of, Legion Grenadier is kind of in, interchangeable. We'll keep the Mountain Goat that gets us some gems. Cooling Strike theoretically can kill both of these champions, but they have lots of ways to stop that. Alright, so we're trading goats. Trade and goats. Mm. That's a good card for them. Legion Grenadier would have been a lot better than Iron Ballista right here. Because Legion Grenadier would allow me to keep the two mana for Pale Cascade available. <laughs> no, I don't need you now, Grenadier. I needed you last turn. Not now, silly Grenadier. This, of course, is a hush deck. Shatter that. Unyielding. <laughs> yeah, we've we've definitely played Elixir today. That's so good for me. Man, pretty awesome for them though. It's a triple mountain goat. And those pump spells and stuff, that was... Uh, that worked, went very well for them. So they're definitely ahead right now. These are dangerous lands. Kinku Lifeblade. Man. Do I gotta use Culling Strike on that thing? I was really hoping they would spend 5 mana and play Lee Sin. That's what I was definitely hoping. Because, you know, I could Culling Strike here, and then if, if they have a, yet another Pill Cascade, that blows up the Culling Strike. Oh, I meant... I meant to play Legion Grenadier. Last turn. I don't know why I clicked OK. I'm sorry, I was... Sometimes that happens, you know, sometimes you just read Twitch chat and, and you kind of forget, you know, like and I was just reading and I clicked okay. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Who's gonna get in my way? I will not hold back. I I've, I've been very happy with the three transfusions. I always I always mulligan the card, but I'm happy with having three of them. Our enemies cannot hide. Okay. That one is over. We are not killing that Lee Sin. That Lee Sin gets a barrier. Okay, Katarina Misfortune. So this looks like this is probably going to be like the Misfortune Gangplank deck, but with Katarina. I think I'll just keep this all. I like having multiple one drops against an aggressive deck. I could see Mulliganing the Iron Ballista. That's what I was going to say. Look for, like, Draven. Hello. Our 
Darkness is the one true light. Both these cards attack for three. My plan. Success. Get you noticed around here. Follow the horizon. My plan is to lead with the Solari Soldier this turn, be able to play. You know, like basically I want to have uh transfusion available with this Draven. Get bloody, get paid. Man. These hired guns are rough. Coming in hot! You point, I shoot. Right, so yeah, for that Leeson. Yeah, I don't know. It's just also something that, you know, it's not it's not an enjoyable experience just watching Lee Sin just dominate for five minutes. And it's just not something that I wanted to put myself through, and so I conceded. I mean, yes, there's a very, very small chance my opponent played. Yeah, misplayed horribly. I guess, yeah, I guess there's a small chance that of that. But with all those gems, like, they had so many spells to go with the Lee Sin, it's just not a game that we could win. I should have mulligan the iron ballista. Guide us. Wow, that's a great card. Yeah, that's a great card. Punish transgressions. Make it worth my while. I'm I'm ready. You've made your path. I won't back down. Really hoping they were they were gonna do the other block with the This one does make more sense. Game has not gone that well for me. Yeah, I decided not to save the soldier since it was also vulnerable still. No prey, no pay. So I decided not to save that. Don't stand in my way. Wanted to kill that island navigator. Um, not let it attack multiple times for a misfortune. Time for the main event. And we, we may finally get around to playing this Iron Ballista that I should have mulliganed. Ballista or Goat. So like they, they block the ballista, they take two damage overwhelm. That's what I like about this. They block the goat, they don't take any damage overwhelm. You hoping they'll die of boredom? No going back. The good blade's edge. Let's dance. Too bad for me if they just want to keep spending four mana and replaying Katarina. I wouldn't really be that mad at that. They want to do that and attack again. We got plenty of life to use as that kind of resource. That's a terrible draw. Is that the worst draw in the deck, puppy? Could be. We're obviously in a ton of trouble now. Came to wrong place. Time for the money makers. <laughs> Fortunate. 
fortune favors the bold. Let the blood Okay, those two games were pretty rough. So this is what losing feels like? This is definitely a really good deck to practice against. Um, yeah, it's de this is definitely a deck that I've been wanting to practice against. Tom Kench, Soraka. Because I'm expecting a good amount of people to have Tom Kench, Soraka. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly popular deck. And uh, they're, they're very good at playing defense. And they have Hush. So I don't, I don't necessarily think that I'm really favored here in this matchup. So I'm glad we can kind of see how it unfolds. Because yeah, they, they block really well and have hush. So I'll be I'll be surprised if we win this one. That's a really bad sign. That probably means that they have Soraka. Okay, or Astral Protection. This box to push is a killer. <laughs> it's three A Challenger. Time for the main event. Wait to see your scrap without axes, you fearing talk. How are we playing this? I guess if they have another Astral Protection, we're going to be pretty much dead. Got axes, need victims. Why did I think I was going to have the mana for Might also? Because yeah, I was saying they were going to Hush, then I was going to play Might. What? I am just out of it. What, like what am I doing? My beautiful face. What am I doing? I right. Should have stayed home, pal. Maybe ever kill this thing, finally. Box to is great. Don't worry, I am here. Do you like that I did get rid of one hush on their side? Gonna be three, four, five, six, seven damage to them, put them down to eight. Blocking Tarek doesn't kill the Tarek because of the tough. Okay, so yeah, they just block over there. So we do eight, take put them down to seven. And we'll have the Captain Farron for next turn. What time is it? So my best draw step. No, that is the worst thing for us to see. That is the worst thing for us to see. There's a will, there's a meal. Punch it! Aha! Up top! 
want to do this before they get to acquire taste. The precious pet for free. They're only at six right now with Star Spring, which is kind of surprising, but only at six. Lots of Bayou brushes. Come along. There's room for so that gives them Krusty Codger again. So they won't be able to heal enough to kill me this turn. You had your chance to walk away. So hopefully the two decimates kill them. It kills them through a guiding touch. I don't I mean they could have star shaping, but I don't think that they necessarily will have star shaping. Where there's a will, there's a meal. That's gonna heal them up a ton for that star spring. Yeah, 13. Puts him to 20 immediately. They've played one Guiding Touch so far. So it's unlikely they have two Guiding Touch. Allow me all right let's try to get this with the decimate that's two guiding touch please don't have three yay they don't have three okay big relax there we go gotta win Draven, Ezreal. I think this is a good matchup. Um, but, you know, it's definitely a good one to practice against. Alright. We'll look at you. So it looks like we're saving our two spell mana. No one's the wiser. You know, we could play Solari Soldier. On turn two and not save two spell mana. Okay, well, obviously, we're gonna be playing our one drops now. That house spider works very well. I mean, yes, they get their one one to block the two one. Yeah, like that house spider is just really good. But I, I don't think I don't attack with the Legion Saboteur. Whenever they can, they have like some things that can kill one health things very effectively. Of course, they can use, um, you know, like static shock. The guilty were bad. I'll just take the trades. No surprise there. But I'd rather them kill that Iron Ballista than kill the Draven. That's why I led with Iron Ballista. I think I'm still going to go Ballista again. And save Draven. That went really good for them. Being able to refill that two spell mana. Really well for them. So we both have three cards in hand, but then they also have a two-one. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Great cooling strike draw. Excuse me. It's Draven time. 
my best draw step is Pale Cascade right now. Okay, I'm at... Never mind. Draven out. Captain Theron, Pale Cascade. Those are the kind of cards we want. I'm ready to shine. Now, yeah, Cap Captain Theron's now the best draw stuff. Wow. Wow. <laughs> For beauty. Sometimes your life's just great. Would I rather the, the Mountain Goat trade with the Eager Apprentice or, like, a Mystic Shant? I guess the Eager Apprentice. Sure, boss. That, gives, that gives me a gem. All right, Captain Theron. That's not bad. We'll take that against an Ezreal deck all day. I got ways to find me mushroom. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. Through the coral. So that's why we play two culling strikes. All right, now we're gonna draw Captain Farron. Captain Farron. Close. Fuse is lit. Time for a true display of skill. Hmm. All they have to do is open attack and I lose. And I'll lose. That's that's enough damage. Get the mystic shot and everything. Okay, playing against Gersa. Kato's good, but we're gonna need to find a cheaper things. I don't usually mulligan Pale Cascade, but it's not it's not the best in this matchup. I would've like, I would have loved to have this hand last game, right? Like, this is a very good against Draven Ezreal, like, those two cards, but not as much against Fearsome. All right, let's trade with the goat so we can get a gem. Yeah, Mafia probably said it doesn't have a huge advantage over any one lineup, but that's that's also while that's true, there's no lineup that has a huge advantage over it, right? Like there's no there's no deck that has a huge advantage over this one. So yeah, like with with our good draws, we beat anything. The party has arrived. All right, we're attacking. We're attacking with Draven. I play Ballista. They could play three two to just block the Ballista. They're not going to really be able to block Draven, so we're going to be able to get damage in and get some spinning axes. I know what lurks in the shadows. And of course we're gonna double spell with the two drops. So pale cascade. Yeah, like they're they're telling me they have pale cascade, so I don't think we block with Draven, but that does give them Give them a blocker that blocks my Draven. Efficiently. What time is it? 
Hill Cascade. Um, that Hill Cascade is going to make life kind of tough. We draw a might. Okay, I like that. It's gonna be a close game. But having having to deal with Pill Cascade makes life much more difficult. Well, the no the no Kato attack was because I didn't want it to die right then to to Pale Cascade. I want to see if I could find something else to help keep it alive. Nice to punch you. Death doesn't scare me. around that Pell Cascade pretty well. Okay, that's not bad. Mm, I guess I'm not really going to be using that card. Stack. Get some good overwhelm in here. Yeah, yeah, we're two and one against Fearsome right now today. We did lose one against Fearsome and they had a, a perfect hand. <clears throat> so we're currently two and one against them. So this will be lethal. We're down to negative one. We basically had to have atrocity. Wow. They do have atrocity. I can discard the so basically I can discard the calling strike to level up Draven. Mm -hmm. that because you know I'm, I'm planning on casting Captain Fair in this next turn. With having atrocity they really should have blocked the other way around with those two things. They could have kept their 3-2 alive. Or you know, kept the Mistwraith alive. I think we're okay with blocking here. You know, like us being at 11 and they've already wasted Atrocity. Like, I, I think we're okay with blocking, with having three blockers. We'll have to see, but I think so. Does that mean GG's? Yes, it does. All right, boom. There we go. Damn, I'm good. 
All right, so three and one against Fearsome on the day. All right, so there we go with our Tarek Draven. Ended up going 12 and 8, 60% win rate. The uh, the last video here didn't do so well. His first two games were, were real bad. Um, yeah, those were very disappointing. And uh, ended up going 2 and 3 in this video. I think the deck's ready though. I think I think it's ready. Got got some um, got some good practice in. You know, I didn't. I can't say that I played those games perfectly, but I'm I'm uh, pretty confident with piloting the deck moving forward. I could definitely see playing six one drops again and taking out the Legion Saboteur, but I just I don't want. I don't really know what I would play instead though. I don't I don't want a, a Crescent Guardian. I know that's that's what we had in here before was a Crescent Guardian. I could maybe see playing a third Culling Strike. Culling Strike was a card that looked really good. Um, you know, it was a great top deck against both of those Ezreals. Um, even though we did lose that that uh, Draven Ezreal match, they had another one. But it, it was a card that looked very good. And it seemed like it just kind of um, does really well against a lot of champions right now. Right? Like there's uh, Soraka Tom Kench, your Draven Ezreal. Of course, Draven it doesn't really do that well against. But then even like the Lee Sin Zed that we played against with this one. Uh, Misfortune, um, basically all the decks, all the champions besides the Trundle Trindamir, uh, which I guess was last video, um, you know, it does does well against a lot of that kind of stuff. A Stun Spider just doesn't attack very well. Just a, a three two attacker for three mana. Don't love it. It does take out a block. You know, can take out a blocker or something. I would I wouldn't mind it. Could play a stun spider, that could be a thing. I, I would rather. I think I'd rather have the arachnoid sentry than the crescent guardian. I think. Yeah, I think. I think this is good though. Um, could play a Cygnus. Try to get things elusive. For a surprise kill with that thing. Yeah, sun sun guardians really. Card is underrated. Yeah, get a nice eight power overwhelm. Immediately, that card is underrated. I like how this works here. All right, but there we go. So that's Tarek Draven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of, of this uh, format and everything. We're going to have Poros Give It All is going to be our deck for tomorrow. That'll be our deck that we're going to be um, playing our 20 games with, seeing what our record is and, and practicing with that one. And then we'll have Midrange Frostbite on a Saturday. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.